and I'm back. Sorry, I ran out of storage on my phone again, which has, has been a continuing problem with this phone, and I apologize for that. But I figured I'd just come back and make a part two on this because I'm actually getting into a different topic of discussion with this with this with this video anyway. It was kind of going in that direction, so I figured I might as well just you know, it's whatever. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I know what people who watch my channel would obviously understand. So, which I appreciate, of course. You know, I, like I said, I apologize for these part two videos because my phone keeps fucking up or my phone, or like my phone keeps, you know, running out of store, dying or whatever. I'm actually getting a new battery pretty soon. I know I've been, like I said, I've been so fucking busy. I haven't had time to make videos. I haven't had time to, you know, fix my phone, haven't had time to really do a lot of different things. So this is as good as it's going to get for now. So like, so like if my fucking, if like the video ends abruptly, that just means that, you know, I'm doing a, you know, different, it just means that, you know, either my phone died or my phone ran out of storage or something. I, got, I probably get a new plan, but whatever. Anyway, moving on with the topic. So the issue with Tulsi Gabbard. So Tulsi Gabbard, you know, is, you know, she's a, you know, she's definitely one of the best, she was one of the best Democratic represented, you know, one of the best Democratic candidates up there in 2020, obviously, you know, she put fucking Kamala Harris in her place, Kamala Harris being a neoliberal fucking corporate, you know, police state corporatist and, and all that shit. So you, you had her, you had all these people and Tulsi Gabbard fucking destroyed, and you know, she destroyed her and and with good reason because because you know tells because uh Kamala Harris is a fucking joke but of course they're not going to let her go anywhere with anything so you know Tulsi Gabbard gets 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 all this scrutiny she gets you know she gets this scrutiny she gets this oh she gets criticized all the time because because of the uh because she met with Bashar al-Assad you know, it's so. You know, this actually brings me to my point about Assad, for example. This this bullshit thing. I, I've discussed this on my channel before, but the thing with Assad and all that is, Assad didn't do shit. Okay, Assad didn't do anything. Assad didn't kill anybody. Assad didn't do anything. I would not be surprised if the Syrian gas attacks were fucking staged. And again, if that makes me a conspiracy theorist, you can call me a conspiracy theorist, call me whatever you want, I don't care. But again, the US lied to get us into war several times. Our politicians have lied so many times to get us into stupid bullshit wars. What makes you think I'm gonna take anybody seriously on the issue of, you know, getting us into wars and all that with like Saddam Hussein in Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. What makes you think I'm going to believe you on chemical weapons in Syria? And it's ironic because people more on the right were against war with, with, with Syria. But somehow the neoliberals, the neoliberals wanted war with Syria, wanted war with Syria somehow. I, I don't know how that worked. It was like the roles were reversed in this scenario. Well, because... Yeah, and then now Trump, when Trump bombed Syria twice, yeah, the Democrats loved it. Oh, yeah, 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 Trump wrong when he says meanie poopy words, but God forbid Trump does something really fucked up and bombs a country that never attacked us. Assad never attacked us, but somehow that was okay, right? That was okay in their eyes. Again, it, 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 it's such a joke. It's literally, it's such a joke. The whole thing is such a joke. This whole thing about Bashar al-Assad, okay? You can call Assad what you want. A, a dictator, authoritarian. Yeah, Assad is authoritarian. Yeah, there's a lot of authoritarian things about him, of course. I'm not going to deny that. But as Assad, this big killer, he gassed his, his people, his children with chemical weapons. He has chemical weapons. That's bullshit. Assad doesn't have chemical weapons. You can get these chemical weapons from, like, Iran and all these other fucking places. Okay, get out of here with this bullshit. Again, I don't believe anything our government tells us or anything our fucking media says. I don't get my news from the in, from the from the mainstream media because they're all fucking garbage. Whether it's CNN, Fox News, whatever. That's why I only get my news from independent news outlets. Because every single mainstream media source is going to have their own fucking bias. And this goes for the issue of, it goes for this. 
So I have a lot, it goes for issues like with Syria and so on and so forth. And Israel as well, especially that. But I have more respect for someone like Tulsi Gabbard than I do with someone like Andrew Yang. Because Tulsi Gabbard's like, yeah, 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 you know, whatever. Israel has a right to defend itself, whatever. We're allies with Israel, blah, 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 whatever. But she acknowledges that Netanyahu was doing screwed up things. Whereas Andrew Yang was out there defending Israel and kissing their ass without acknowledging that Netanyahu was doing fucked up things. And then when the heat got too hot for him, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I support a two-state solution. Oh, well, I believe in a two-state solution. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm against BDS. I'm against boycott, divestment, and sanctions and all that. I, I'm, you know, I'm against the boycotting Israel and all that. Yeah, like, okay, I'm for a two-state solution, but, 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 I'm, but I'm against people's own right to free speech and boycotting Israel. Again, you people are fucking hypocrites. You always have been, and you always will be. You're only for free speech and for smaller government and all that when you're not. It, like, okay, yeah, yeah, you can say whatever you want all fucking day, but God forbid you say something about Israel. Yeah. No, yeah, it's wrong. It's anti-Semitism, blah, 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 blah. Bunch of fucking idiots. So no, this goes for Andrew Yang. So no, that's why I have more respect for someone like Tulsi Gabbard than I do with Andrew Yang. Because Tulsi Gabbard worded it a little bit better. So maybe she, so maybe if Yang worded himself a little bit better, maybe he wouldn't have came off with like such a Zionist tag. I don't know. We'll see how it goes for the future. But until then, I ain't gonna hold my breath because it just looks like Andrew Yang is just the status quo, like usual, so I'm not gonna hold my breath. So anyway, moving on with this fucking video. So... The issue with Tulsi Gabbard is, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, um, yeah, Assad d d d does this and that, Assyria does this and that. And then, and then in this article, yeah, about Israel and Syria, you know how I was saying the thing about Syria and Israel and, you know, them going back and forth, the tensions, because Israel is occupying part of Syria's land? I found a funny thing in this article that I just had to respond to. Tensions between Syria and Israel, whose rivalry, rivalry go back decades, were also high at the time of Pelosi's trip due to Assad's support for the Hezbollah and Islamic Jihad terrorist groups. In, respond, in response, the George W. Bush administration diplomatically isolated Assad for years. Quote, sending delegations hasn't worked, Bush said at the time. It just simply has been counterproductive. Okay, again. So people like Tulsi Gabbard, it's counterproductive when someone like Tulsi Gabbard tries to go and make peace with Assad, but, but, but that's counterproductive. But it's counterproductive when we fucking bomb them, right? Okay, so, so like, yeah, yeah, diplomacy hasn't worked, so let's go and fucking bomb them anyway. Like, th this is the problem I have with the fucking Bushes. This is the problem I have with all these people, because they're all a bunch of fucking war criminals. They don't want peace. They don't want peace. They want to exploit their warmongering, their hegemony, and their imperialism. With Bush, classic imperialist, like he's always proven himself to be, time and time again, that's what he's proven. He's proven himself to be over and over and over again. So, yeah, yeah, sending delegations hasn't worked. Okay, but sending bombs over to Syria worked, right? Yeah, shut the fuck up, Bush, you fucking warmongering piece of shit, fucking foaming at the mouth, neocon, buck tooth, fucking crackhead looking monkey, shit eating grin, fucking war criminal piece of shit. Yeah, that fucking worked, right? No, Tulsi Gabbard did the right thing in terms of this. And you're, and you're going to sit there and act like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. sending uh, diplomats to Syria is kind of productive. Yeah, but yeah, but your policies weren't counterproductive, right? Shut the fuck up and go away, Bush. Fuck the Bushes. Fuck the Bushes. Fuck these neocons. Fuck all these people. I'm sick and tired of all of them. And fuck Netanyahu as well. He can kiss my fucking ass. All these fucking war criminals. They can all kiss their kiss my fucking ass. So, no, I have respect for Tulsi Gabbard. I would have voted for her 100%. Really, the only people that are not biased in favor of Israel, the only ones that are not biased in favor of Israel, is Tulsi Gabbard, Nina Turner, and a few others, and Bernie Sanders. You know, I know a lot of people don't like Bernie Sanders out there, but, you know, Bernie Sanders will say things that I think are ridiculous too. Like, sometimes I think he's way too liberal sometimes. For my taste, even, and I'm center left, but but there's a lot of things Bernie Sanders says that's really smart, so that's why I kind of I kind of like him sometimes, and then there's times where I'm kind of like, no, you kind of lost me on that. So 
Anyway, all right, I'm going to wrap it up here because um, I'm going to wrap it up here before my phone dies again or because my, my phone has just been fucking annoying lately. Like I said, I'll, I'll try to get that to work. And again, I apologize. I have to keep making video. You know, I have to keep making this video, this one, this, this, and this. I mean, even though I was, I was kind of getting into a new topic anyway, so I don't think it really mattered that much. But I figured, you know what, I'll just come back and make a part two because I'm already going to go into another topic. So this is part two, the second topic. The first video I was talking about Andrew Yang and, you know, whatever. Andrew Yang, bias with Israel. And then this one is Tulsi Gabbard and Syria and Israel in the fucking bushes. So I guess it's, you know, making two videos at once. So, so making basically two videos. So this is my second video of the day. And thank you all for listening. And I hope you all enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Again, I won't berate you if you have a different opinion. You know, just, just be respectful, be civil, whatever. I'll have that civil debate with anybody. Anybody in my comments that wants to say that, I will have that civil debate. We'll have that conversation. Going forward, we'll do all of that, and we'll just go from there. So thank you all for listening. And again, I'll try, I apologize for having you know, the part two thing with my phone fucking up. I'll try to get that fixed soon when I have the time for it. But, um, yeah, this is my second video of the day, so I put two videos out there for you guys to kind of tide you guys over. I'll try to be back and make more videos uh, going forward and a whole bunch of stuff in the works. Stay tuned to find out more and more videos on the way. Um, I definitely have more topics in the works that I'm going to discuss with all of you, so I'm going to do that and going forward and a whole bunch of stuff in the works. Stay tuned. This is Zach the Celtics guy saying thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more soon and more content on the way. Peace, have a nice day or night, and I'll be back with and I'll be back with more when I get the chance, which will be soon. Hopefully anyway. See y'all again soon. Bye for now. Peace out and have a good one. Later.